Welcome again to the, another tutorial of Cascading Style Sheet. In this tutorial, we will going to learn about how to use an alternate style within your page. So in order to work in this direction, the first thing that I've done is I've created another CSS file and call it fruitschool.css. So I have the two properties in fruits.css which is the text color for my li and h2 but i want to do one more property on top of that and this is uh, something new for you guys because we haven't introduced you to the property called background this is used to change the background color of the page so i'm giving a property called background to the body tag and so what i would like to do is i would like to change the background of the of the color background color of the page to orange and i've created this style called cool style but basically, before I, I, I go about telling you where do we use it and how do we use it, let me take you to a browser screen. So let's say if I'm in fruits.htm, which is the untouched file from our last attempt, and if I go to Firefox. Now, currently, I'm looking at this page with CSS. However, I can um, go to, I can press the Alt key, I'm going to make the menu available, and then I can basically go under um, view and then I go under page style okay and if you notice there are two options given to me for now no style and basic page style basic page style pretty much mean the current CSS properties if I choose no style then all the CSS properties will be taken away and all I will be looking at will be the plain HTML with no CSS and this is this works in most of the modern browsers like IE also supports it. It's all, under, it's, all, it's all located under the view tab if you go in page styles. So what we're going to try to do is I will try to create an alternate view called cool and I would like to have more than one page styles for the same page. In order to work with this style we use we take help from a tag called link again just like the previous one. We have the href just like the previous one. We have the rel just like the previous one. Okay. We have the type just like the previous one. However, we have one extra property called titles. And whatever text you put in the title, that actually appears in the view tab under page style. So the href is fruit school. That's CSS. The rel is still my style sheet, but I would like to put alternate style sheet because this is not my main style sheet. This is an alternate style sheet. The type is still text slash CSS, and the title that I would like to give to this site is um, to this style is cool fruits. Okay. So now after making all these changes, I would like to now run my page in Firefox. So if I go in Firefox. This is the default is what you're looking at and this this all of this look and feel is, is coming from the file called fruits.css however if i go in uh view and i go under page style now notice i have one extra option called cool fruits so if i click on cool fruits style voila here you go now i have an orange background and that's the only thing that has changed all the other properties are still intact from fruit.css. So anything that was not defined in fruits.css that has been changed or could be overwritten if you redefine the same property. So that's basically um, is the usage of the page style. There are people who have alternate styles if people would like to view their site in other styles. So they may invest in this direction as well. Uh, you don't have to do it, but I thought since we're on that subject, we'll talk about it. Well, um, there will be more stuff coming. And in this tutorial, as we learn about one extra property called background, we'll learn about more properties. Stay tuned. Thank you.